Hi, and welcome to Hymn Stories. I'm Dr. Lindsay Whelan, Music Director of GVUMC in Henderson, Nevada. And today we're going to be talking about Isaac Watts. I sing the almighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. Watts was working as a pastor in London when he penned these words in 1715, and at the time, he had no idea what a controversy he would become. This was included in a book he wrote called Divine and Moral Songs for Christian Children. His whole idea was to use words and lyrics that children could understand so that everyone could sing together. His goal was to benefit all and offend none. Unfortunately, no less than 70 years later, many people were offended. You see, there was division brewing in the church between the old ways where only psalms were allowed to be sung in services and the new ways where hymns were sung. And Watts's hymns were some of the most popular. One person was quoted saying, Christian congregations have shut out divinely inspired hymns by not using the psalms and instead are using Watts's hymns, which he called Flights of Fancy. Now, many of you probably know this hymn, I Sing the Almighty Power of God, but Watts penned an even more popular hymn. We'll sing it before the year is out. Do you think you know what it is? If you have an idea, drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see if we can figure it out. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you in the pews.